Now we will see what are the different types of information system for a management information systems series. As we have seen that information systems are needed with a blend of technology and management for an organization to function properly. So before saying what are different types, we should know what is an information. Now, when we talk about information, the first question that comes is data and information. How do we segregate data and information? Data is the lots and lots of things that are available. And from that data, if we are able to extract what is needed for us is known as an information. Now, when we say data and information, another thing that comes up in mind is what information do we need? So when we say we have data, from that we need to extract information. So what information do we need? So the information that we need depends on what kind of information system for an organization that we are building. Once we know what information we need, as we know very clearly what is our problem definition, then the next step is information is a resource. That is, from that information that we have as a resource, what should be done next? We need to identify the resources from where we are getting. We have information as a resource. Lots of things are available. So we need to now identify those resources. And what are the different resources? There's a small depicted picture that types of information or information resources are books, ebooks, journals, websites, chapters, recordings, blogs, media, newspaper, common documents, images, policies, people's views, conferences, proceedings, gray literature, databases, and guidelines. Now, these are the different types of resources that are available from where we can extract our information. So what should we do next? Why do we need an information? As we said, we need an information and to identify those activities to work on that particular information. Critical source, as we have data, we have information, we know that the information is a resource, we have identified what resources, and from those resources, what we need from the information and once we know what information we've needed we've extracted we identify the activities what we need to do now what is a critical source it is the list of sequence of activities and if some other input is needed other than the basic resources that we need so that is a critical resource from where the information should be extracted and worked on now there are different types of information there's a descriptive information and there's a prescriptive information. Now, how do I identify descriptive information and prescriptive information? The set of questions that can be asked for a descriptive is, what is? We need to ask the question, what we need to do? And prescriptive information is, what should be done with that particular information that we are getting? What is that information and what should be done with that information if we get a particular data set or if we get a particular image and what we need to do with that image we should be aware of or the data set if we get from Kaggle or UCI then we should be aware what kind of system that we are building and what should be done on that data whether we need to filter it out whether we're going to remove the white spaces so all of that depends on our clear picture on what we need to do with those particular information. Once we know that the descriptive and prescriptive information, now we have to do that. What we do need to do is for a diagnostic information is what is wrong. The data that is available, when I say there's a lot big data set that is available to us, maybe there are a lot of white spaces in it. So what is wrong is I need to remove those white spaces, blank columns or the columns which are not making sense for my problem statement. Those need to be removed. And then comes the predictive information. That is, what would happen? So what is wrong when I know? I can remove the blank spaces. And then what will happen to my data that can be very clearly seen or prescribed and predicted what kind of a system I'll be building. Now, this is all what is types of information that we have. Now, after knowing what are the different types of information, we see what are types of 
information system. This is a small, I can say, not a param pyramid, but a small steps which are there. Now, types of systems, I have an executive support system that is known as ESS, management information system, decision support system, knowledge work system, office system, and a transaction processing system. So at the operational level, we have TPS, that is the transaction processing system, where we do order tracking, order processing, machine control, plant scheduling, accounts payable. So the very basic thing that you see over here, when you say order tracking, that is for the Amazon or a Flipkart, whatever you have ordered. Now, when I come to a little higher level of knowledge, it is the engineering workstation, managerial workstation, document imaging, graphic workstation, where a lot of knowledge is stored and we are working on that. So this can be a some little bit part of, I can say, an expert system kind of a building where I have a knowledge and I'll be working on it. After the knowledge work systems, we have a decision support system at the third level. That is the management level systems over here is where the management information systems come into picture. Here you have sales management, region analysis, inventory control, budgeting, capital investment analysis. And when I say a capital investment analysis, you can say if it is a real life or real world example, then a share market comes into picture and a lot of analysis or an MIS, which helps an organization to grow. And then at the top is a strategic level system that is the executive support system, which means that I need to have a plan where I want to see myself five years down the line so that I can plan my TPS, my KWS, DSS, MIS to have a support system that will help me five years sales strength and forecasting, five years operational plan or from five years what I need to achieve. So these are the different levels of information systems that we have and we'll be studying most importantly is a management information system. So this is just a brief, this video is a brief video about what is an information, how important is the information and how and what we need to do before I design a predictive analysis model and then what are the different types of system paradigm we have so that we can work further with management information systems. Thank you.